Chetan Urula here for Cricket World and talking about Sri Lanka who for the first time in a very, very long, long span of years or a span of ICC events do not start as rank contenders for the title. And, uh, you know, it's not a great time to be a Sri Lankan cricket fan or in fact even Sri Lankan cricketer given uh, the, the huge news of corruption back in domestic circles, their uh, form of their national side, you know, very, very wavered. Yes, they won the Test Series in South Africa, which surprised a lot of people. But beyond that, they haven't done anything of note. Captaincy changing hands at the will of the selectors. Lasit Malinga was captain and suddenly he was not captain. Dimut Karunaratne, who hasn't played a lot of ODI cricket, but did lead Sri Lanka to that uh, Test Series win in South Africa, suddenly installed as uh, the captain to lead them in the 2019 ODI World Cup. So like I said, lots going, going on behind the scenes for Sri Lankan cricket. It's not a very expectant time for their fans, uh, not a very jubilant time for their fans, and perhaps they will be fearing the worst. Who's a, who are the key players uh, for Sri Lanka this time around? Well, I think Dimut Karunaratne has to be a key player if selectors have handed him the captaincy without playing too much uh, ODI cricket. You know, he's just featured in 18 ODIs, not played this shorter format for almost a couple of years now. And he averages only 20.53 in ODI cricket. So he has to be a very, very vital player if he's leading the side in a world tournament. Apart from that, you have the likes of Kusal Pereira, Lasit Malinga, Angelo Matthews, who bring a lot of experience, especially Matthews and Malinga. Malinga quite old now, perhaps playing his last World Cup. Same perhaps for Matthews, who's been plagued with a lot of injuries. Surprisingly, he didn't want the captaincy. He's given it up a couple of times. So a lack of leadership really from the Sri Lankan cricket circles. This is the same team which had the likes of Kumar Sangakkara and Mahela Jayavarne or Arjuna Ranatunga and Arvinda De Silva, Sana Jasuriya before them. All of them born leaders on the field and off the field as well. So it's really disappointing to see the direction that uh, this team has gone into. Who are the players who could provide some sort of an X factor? I think Kusil Pereira could be one. Then there's Avishka Fernando who opens the innings, bats in the top order. He's just 21 year old. He's perhaps free from the weightage of uh, experience, uh, of, of expectations, not experience, expectations that come with playing in a World Cup. He's perhaps here to gain that experience and uh, maybe start afresh for Sri Lankan cricket looking at the future. Prediction time? Well, the present, forget the future, the present looks very, very bleak for Sri Lanka. And, uh, well, I love Sri Lankan cricket. I've been there three times, covered a World T20 there, covered uh, India's tours there. The Sri Lankan fans are uh, really passionate about their cricket, uh, their teams. Well, have, I have grown up watching their teams do well. In 1996, they set the stage alight, 99. They didn't go too far, but they, they managed to, uh, to hold themselves high as defending champions in England. Sangakara, Jayavarne, you know, flying their flags high in 2007, 2011, losing finalists on both occasions. Times have changed for Sri Lanka. I think they will struggle to win even a single game. Yes, even a single game. The Sri Lankan side perhaps heading towards a lowly 10th placed finish. They will need inspiration from the likes of Malinga, from the likes of Pereira, from the likes of Matthews and of course their captain as well. Weak in batting, bowling and fielding. I do not see them holding a candle to the other opponents in the side. It's sad days for Sri Lankan cricket, but if they can change it around, inspire themselves on the world stage, it will really please Sri Lankan fans back home.